it's a bit easier to understand in 3D. So I'll just go through a couple of the different elements. We've got our joists just on top here, just along through here. And then underneath, we've got our bearers and our brick piers just underneath that. From here, we've also got our stud wall as well as our slab and our footings, our strip footings just underneath. So from here, if we just pan across until we're on the side view, just like this. Now, if we go into our section that we've cut, you'll see how it kind of corresponds with the two. So if you're not familiar with how things look in 2D, when they cut through in 3D, that's just a bit of a broad overview of a couple of different elements that we'll be looking at. But I'm rambling a bit. The main purpose of this video is to show you how to create a detail in ArchiCAD. So at the moment here, we've got a one to 100 section that's been cut through the plan. So I'll just go into plan view. There's a section that's been cut through this point here. So this point here is just that slab that we we're talking about outside here before. So that's this portion just here. I'll go into 3D just so I can explain it. So it's this slab just here. Let's go back into our floor plan. And this just here is going to be our joists. So this section lines up with this portion just here. Now we've cut a section through this point just in here. If we go to the section, right click, and we'll go to open with current window view. Now the current window view has been set up. So some of the different surfaces have overrides. So we'll just double click in the view map just here where I've got it set up. So it's just been set with the correct view settings, which are just these ones here. Just so broad overview, so it all makes sense. All right, now we want to create this detail that we've got right here, which is just this detail just here. So this, this detail here is this detail just here, just zoomed in. So this here is at like a one to 100. It's not actually drawn necessarily to scale. This is from a book called Building Your Own Home. Very, very handy book. I highly recommend picking it up, especially if you live in Australia. So if we check out uh, these pages just here, this is what this detail is being drawn from. So we've cut through the section. Let's go into the section. Longest preamble for how to use a particular tool in ArchiCAD, but hopefully we pick up a couple of little things along the way that I think will come handy in your tool set of using ArchiCAD, but let's go into the actual tool itself. So just up this top corner here, just in the toolbar, we're just going to click on the detail tool. It's kind of like a section and kind of like an elevation. We're going to be creating another view. So we'll click top left hand and we'll click down. Oh, that's not quite far enough. Uh, so we want to capture essentially a similar slice as this just here. So I'll go through from the bottom and about till halfway there. Yep, that looks good. And I'm going to press just up to the top here and that's going to bring out my reference point just to here. Now, if I wanna minimize that reference point, I can just like the size of the circle. Uh, I'll just go Control T, which will bring up the settings. And from there, I can change the actual marker size. Let's bring that down to say five. So that's much smaller there now. So we can click and drag this and just until we want it how we'd like it. And we can do this after we've actually created the detail as well. So we'll reduce down the size of this one just by grabbing, grabbing the edge. We'll bring this one on down and we'll bring this one up a little bit too. There we go. So we now have our detail created, but you won't be able to find it in your view map. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go into your project map. Then in underneath details, just in here, we'll go to detailing and we'll go detail drawing. This one just here. So this is a detail of what we've just drawn over before. And because this is a detail, all of these elements in here are all lines and fills. So it, it's much easier to be able to edit these things without having to recreate everything in 3D. It's very cool to have like a 3D like this, which you can go around, you can see all the different elements. But realistically, when you're doing an actual project, if you were to try and detail everything in 3D, it's so this is where our lines and fills come in really handy because they're really quick and easy to edit and create. So if we go back into our detail, this one just here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this into a view map so we can control what pens as well as the graphic overrides that are within this detail here. It'll, it'll make more sense in just a sec. So what you just need to do, we need to go to window and then go to palettes and then we'll go through to organizer. And from here, this is going to bring up our publisher just here and we'll be able to go to our project map just on this left-hand side and we'll go to our view map just on this side and we'll be able to drag our detail in. So I've got a little details box just here with all sorts of other details. I'm going to create a new one just for these three Ds because it's getting a bit messy. 3D views. This is from a previous project. 
um, one that we did uh, some cool old rustic buildings. That was a bit of fun. So I'll just organize those in there at the moment. So I'm going to minimize this. Oh, we've got other 3D views. This needs a little bit of sort, but that's all right. Details just in through here. So we're going to click and drag this one in until it's at the top of the list. And if we double click on that one, then yep, it's going to be to this here. So if I go to the floor plan and then I say double click on this detail just over here, we'll always know where this one's going to be and we'll be able to adjust which pens and which graphic overrides if we go to the view settings and change them from here. Ah, now with details, actually you don't have graphic overrides, but we've still got say things like our pen set that we can manipulate. So we'll just go, okay, oh, as well as the scale. Scale is very, very important because that's one of the primary reasons why we want to be able to do a detail. So we can blow the drawing up to a larger size. So we'll just go, okay. And what we'll even do is we'll create a new page on our layout. We're going to call this detail page. We'll just go create. There we go. I'm just going to change this one to an A3. And we'll go A3 minimal. Okay. Yeah, that's nice and clean for us. All right, cool. So from here, we want to drag in our section as well as our detail, which will reference back to the section. So how do we do that? Uh, for the time being, we could do it with the organizer. So let's just go into our view map. We'll go into our section, this one here. Let's organize our folders just a little bit. There we go. We've got our section. If we double click on here, then it's going to bring us to our section. And we'll drag our reference material just off here for the time being. Come back on over. So this is our section. Let's go back to our layout and we'll click on our view map, this one just here. Now, this might get all a little bit confusing. Don't worry. I'll, I'll go over a few things just to kind of break it down just really quick. So here at the moment, we've got the layout editor and then we've got the view map. Now this is all the same just over on the section here. So we've got publisher, layout editor, and then we've got the view map just here. But we've got the project map over here on this side as well. So all these ones up here and all these ones here, they're all the same. It's just so we can drag and drop them from one section to the other. So we can organize our drawings and just set different pens for different drawings. Nothing to worry about too much at the moment. Let's just get back into actually chucking these things onto the page. So let's grab the building section. We'll drag and drop it on. Hey, there we go. Now this one's at one to a hundred. It's quite small on our page here at the moment. So let's just fit this to the rest of the drawing. There we go. And next up, let's drag and drop our detail. So just in our detail, we'll click and drag this one on over. There we go. So let's zoom on in. So this drawing here is one to 100, which is typical for like a floor plan as well as elevations and a section. Because we haven't got a huge amount of the building cut through, it's quite small on our page here at the moment, which is okay. It just means we've got uh, more space to play with. Now our detail, this one is currently one to 50. If we want to change the scale of this, we'll always want to do this within the view map. So if we right click on the detail and we go view settings, inside of here, we can change the scale here. So if we want it to say one to 20, so it's much larger on the page, we'll go to scale and we'll go one to 20. We can also do custom scales just so it can fit onto your page exactly how you want it. But one to 20 is pretty typical as well. So we'll go, okay. Now our drawings disappeared. So what we need to do, we'll go to fit drawing, uh, fit frame to drawing. We'll double click our middle mouse button and they'll show us where it's popped up. So we'll grab this one, we'll drag it on down. Now this little marker just underneath here is the name of the drawing. So what we can do, we can drag this one on up and this is an automatic drawing title. So we'll bring this one up to here and this will uh, mention the name of the detail. So this one here, if we changed the name within here, so we renamed this from detail to concrete slab and subfloor detail, we can click OK. And from here, it'll change our drawing title just underneath here. Now, if it's too big, what we could do, we could either rename it or we'll go into our settings and we'll go to our drawing title and just down the bottom here, We'll go all the way to the left-hand side, or we could just go in here and go positioning. And we'll make this one just a little bit larger. So we'll go one, say 30. We'll go, okay. Oh, no, we need a little bit bigger. Let's go 150. 150, ooh, still just a little bit too small. 170, hey, plenty. There we go. Uh, now, if we want one of these automatic drawing titles, we just click on our drawing. And then if we scroll on down in this section just here, we'll go from, title type and we'll just go to linear drawing title 26 and you just want to have your settings set so that they are similar to what i've got set here and just up through here and just to what i've got set here as well but anyway this is a side tangent we'll just go okay now if we click this and uh, click it onto our drawing and if we double click our middle mouse button click off our organizer for the moment 
here we are. So this one's drawing titles ended up over on this section just here. So let's bring this back on over to there. And now that one's huge. So let's quickly change that. Control T, change that to 100. We'll go okay. All right, that'll do for now. So we've got our drawing and we've got it referenced back to our section. So from here, if we go back into our detail, we can start drawing in uh, various details on top of this. So if we had say ant capping uh, in through here, so we've got ant capping then set at at least a 45 degree, say 60 mil, there we go. So we've got our ant capping just here, which goes into our brick. Now that realistically, this would have a bit more detail, but if we go back into our section, so we'll go into our view map, we'll go to our section AA, this one just here, it hasn't updated on our actual section. So we can start adding things that won't show up on our section, which comes in handy. Now, if an element were to say change within our section itself, so if we were to, for whatever reason, uh, duplicate this bearer, just add through to here, and we go to our detail, which is just here, nothing has happened. So if we want that bearer to show up in this drawing here at the moment, we need to right click on it and we need to go rebuild from source view. So we will go rebuild and now it will show up that element. Other things we can do, we can start adding in fills. So if we go to say the drafting fill just here and we go earth, this one, we can start drawing this in just here, bring that one to the front and we'll click it with its attribute then reduce that off there. So we can start detailing out our drawings at this larger scale, this one to 20 scale. And when we start actually labeling things, so I'll put in a label just here, we'll go bring to front, go it down below. I'll pick this one up. I'll just bring it here. I'll go concrete footings to engineers details. Like it all, put it to size two. Let me do it. So let's go here now. So I can start adding in all sorts of extra details into these drawings here, and it's not going to show up on my section. So it's gonna keep the section clean and tidy, but I can add in extra on the detail. But if I say now delete this element that I just created, same things, you've, you've already guessed it. If I go into the detail now, it's still going to be there. So we'll need to right click and go rebuild from source view. And now it's disappeared. Let's go into our layout just for a second. We'll go to our page here and there we go. It's all updated. We'll grab this and we'll extend out our frame. And this one's frame just here. Now to access this ArchiCAD file or any of my other tutorial files, they're all available over on my Patreon, which now has a seven day free trial, but there are limited spots. I'm keen to create a small tight knit community that I can support with resources and details that's been created from the ArchiCAD tutorials and any other extras that I come up with along the way. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one just over here.